Did I really need a suspension stem on my steel gravel bike or did I just get sucked in by all the hype and marketing? Well, stick around this video, I'll let you know. Uh, we'll go through you know, my experiences with the suspension stem, including uh, installation and changing the elastomers. Um, I've ridden over 1,500 kilometers on it right now. And uh, you know, we'll let you know kind of what that experience has been like on both sort of road and gravel and um, whether or not I would buy it again. So Redshift's pretty adept at marketing. So uh, any time you start looking up something as you know on Google or YouTube, you're gonna get fed lots of ads and videos that support that. And uh, Redshift is relentless. So, um, but they're very slick, you know, really nice products. They're definitely a well-built product. And, you know, so I got kind of sucked into that. So I was humming and hawing because they're not a, uh, a cheap um, product by any means. I think I paid about a little over 200 for this Canadian and that was on an Amazon um, deal. So I was a bit reluctant to spend that much not knowing whether I even needed this or not. And you hear varying things from different people. Most reviews are pretty helpful. Um, now keep in mind, um, I was replacing my 80 millimeter um, alloy stem with this 80 millimeter um, alloy endurance stem. So this is the shortest they make at the time. So, you know, that will have a little bit of, uh, in terms of just, you know, how far it pivots because it's not very long, like if you had 100 or 120 on there. So overall, it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm not a very good home mechanic, <laughs> that's for sure, but, you know, I can replace the stem. So the stem is, itself is fine. Now, um, I would say, Redshift is pretty slick when it comes to, you know, their products and support. And they had a really good uh, install video. And um, they, you know, had a little pamphlet you could look through, but it wasn't that helpful. But that video was really, really helpful. So it helped me to know how to change the last risk when I got it. They came with, I believe, 80 and 70. Um, and then I, I took it out on a ride, on a fairly significant ride and a fairly rough trail. And did find it didn't really do a whole lot. So I went down to, I think, a 70 and a 60, so like a 20 pound difference. And that made a, a definite difference. I could actually, you know, I can move it a little bit. And um, so having ridden over 1500 kilometers on many, many uh, rail trails and some rougher trails and lots of roads, a lot of the roads here in Ontario are pretty rough. So. Um, actually, that's where I find these suspension products, the elastomer based ones, really shine more is even almost on just like roads where it's a little bit, uh, it's not like, you know, France where you're cycling. A lot of the roads here in Ontario can get pretty rough, like potholes or chip and seal or whatever. So again, the point behind the elastomer based products are to just take vibration out. They're not going to be like a mountain bike where you're, you're getting loads and loads of, of travel. Um, so I found uh, it made a difference when I, I went down. There's still lots more I can play with, but I think right now in terms of my weight, I'm around 200 pounds. That's a pretty good, um, it's kind of at the upper limit, limit of that and the lower limit of the next one. So I'm going to stick with that for now. So now the installation is, is done and again, it's fairly simple to do. Um, again, I feel the fit and finish of this product is really good. Um, seems like really good quality and, and uh, it's nicely built and from what I can see I've had no issues with it after you know 1500 kilometers at all. But would I buy it again? No, I don't think I would. Uh, for the price you're paying, for the benefit you get, I don't notice enough that probably couldn't be resolved through putting some bigger tires on, some tubeless tires with a little you know, um, more comfort. Um, you know, more comfortable bar tape, using gloves or whatever. So, I mean, I do notice a little bit of a difference, but I'm also not, keep in mind, doing 150, 200 kilometer days or more and, you know, day after day cycling where something like this, I think, again, the point of the last move base is to try and really help people over time to reduce vibration fatigue. So uh, I'm sure there's some impact to it, but whether it's worth it for me, I don't think so. I think for a lot of people it might be. It's a well-built product. I don't think you'll go wrong, but whether or not you want to spend that kind of money on a product like this, probably not for me. 